Hey guys, how's it going? This is Ryan again, and welcome to a new video in the Casual Online Game series. And uh, let's not speak about my current win loss. <laughs> oh, it's just not been great. Um, anyway, <clears throat> today I'm going to start off with my go to opening Large Knight Enclosure. Uh, my opponent actually played uh, the Shamari here. That's kind of old now. Um, it's uh, not really played nowadays because of different attachments. It's it's not very efficient um, in the eyes of an AI. So he chose to split this eye, which is uh, a very textbook move. It's not a bad move, of course, um, and uh, I guess he will do the free space extension. Then I will likely uh, invade. <clears throat> Actually, uh, I'm not sure if I will play the Kosumi first before invading. <clears throat> uh, I guess both are good options. Okay. Guess you know what? Today I'm feeling a bit territorial, so I'm gonna Kosumi first before invading. Alright. So, I guess now there's no choice for white except to extend. And then, if he attaches, I will descend. Um, which is pretty difficult for white because if he just let me connect back, that's a pretty nice corner there. Uh, yeah, so he will attach under, and now I can play elsewhere. I guess I will just do invade. Not sure what to play. If you're not sure what to play, you can always invade 3 3. And, well, okay, that's that's. That's very not true. You you can't just invade the three in any situation. But when it's sufficiently empty, uh, it's like your go-to opening move. So I assume he will block on top, um, and I guess in this in this case, I want to extend um, because if he honeys, I will honey back. That's not very good for him because if if you choose the Joseki where white gets the right side I have a stone here so he he doesn't want that um, so if he does in fact extend which is I think more likely oh he chose to take the corner <clears throat> so after Yuhane you pretty much oh <laughs> Uh, I was going to say, after the Hane, you pretty much have to make the the double Hane and take the corner. Because after playing this shape so many times, it's kind of accepted that it's not a good shape for white. So I'm just going to uh split the right side. I chose the high one because if I play the low, he will pincer and he can actually just cap me. So because territory isn't too important on the left side, for for me, I'm not gonna play a low splitting move. Alright, so actually if he if he pincers I think I'm going to shoulder hit. Um because I think that's a Decent move. So I can just kind of leave the corner. There's not much he can do anyway. And my lower right is really good because if he invade 3-3, three, three, I can block. Because of this invasion exchange, he actually cannot turn it back. So, um, yeah, I think this right corner is pretty decent right now. So... Let's see if he... Okay, so he chose to extend up. Uh, 
Okay, I guess I'll just jump, make a light shape. And opening is pretty much over by now. I'm actually pretty happy with this. I got the right side in Sente and I was able to limit his side. So I'm actually pretty happy with this. I'm not sure if whether it's good for black, but at least in terms of mood, I'm relatively happy about this. Okay, okay, so he chose to descend. Um, this is pretty much a set thing, so I will crawl one more time so that when he turns, it's not sente. So be careful not to block directly because then when white turns, it's that corner and it's sente. So that's um, then white is able to gain something on the side. But now he can't because if he pins at any time, uh, this this is not being closed. So <clears throat> when you have some stones on the second line, it's kind of like a rule of thumb. Make sure when they turn, it's not sente. Okay, I think he will probably play the knight's moves since he extended here. Oh, okay. Predictable here. Uh, this direction isn't too big. Um, I kind of want to go for some territory, actually. If I attach... It's a very awkward for him, I think, for this shape. It's one of the follow-ups for the shape after the shoulder hit, which I think is the reason why um, AlphaGo really like to shoulder hit once. And it's also part of the reason for the invention of this attachment for the large knight, because when if white attaches and black extends back, um, AlphaGo thinks that the exchange is actually good for the, the, the one playing the attachment. But that's a story for another time. Oh, this is interesting. So he attached, and I've actually never seen this before. Uh, I think it's, I think I can just ignore that. Doesn't really have a strong follow-up. Yeah, I'm just gonna hunt into the corner. If he hunt I'll just extend. Um, like the this move just destroys the corner territory. So if he can't severely attack any of my groups, he's gonna be very behind in terms of territory. And yeah. Uh, at this point, it's important not to Hane, because after the Hane and White extends, it's going to hurt the upper side without really getting gaining much on the right side. So I'm just going to extend, see what he's going to do to follow up from his Hane. Yeah, I mean... <clears throat> So even though he has this knight's move, he doesn't really have enough stones to make a, a strong attack on this group. At, at least that's what I think. Uh, I He'll probably exchange this tiger's mount now, which I will obviously block. And now the upper side is pretty much all um, black's uh, influence. So, this doesn't work now because I can extend in, at any time. So, my shape is pretty pretty good. And now, if he pushes, then that'll help me. I'll just jump. So, that's... Uh, I was going to say, it's probably not going to be a good exchange. And if he plays the knight's move, I can actually just also... Play a nice move to escape, so <clears throat> it's actually really good in terms of shape. 
So if he pushes, he can't push and cut because I can turn, and then everything here is gonna be gone. So I think that's gonna be easy, easy settlement. Um, so yeah, that's so that's a goal. Um, it's a weak group, so I need to settle. Um, he he still chose to push and cut, so I'm a bit surprised by that once again. Because now if I push, he has to extend. And it's going to lose a lot of potential also now at the bottom. Oh, okay, so he connected. But I think... Uh, oh, maybe, should I have a Tari? No, I didn't, I didn't really want to do that. Okay, maybe I was a bit too optimistic in terms of the safety of this group. But, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not very, I'm not doing very well in terms of predicting my opponent's moves. Which is, uh, not, not very good for me. Um, <clears throat> so, of course, the goal now is to make this group alive without hurting the outside much. Um, this definitely doesn't look like a good move, because at the moment, the outside is very important. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> sorry. Well, on the side, it's not worth, not worth very much, because you can see that here... All these stones are pretty much, uh, they're not very useful stones. So, what's a good shape here? Um, let's see. By Hane, you might jump, so then, uh, it's not as easy, I guess, to make eyes. What is it? So, uh, this is actually a Pretty awkward shape. I'm not sure what the correct move now. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, I, I don't want to simply escape because if he connects, then I'm basically just running running out on my own. And I don't really want that, so I'm trying to see if there's a good way to uh, escape now. I think the Hane is very, it's very big. It extends back. Not only it's hard for me to get out, also in terms of eye space, it's also a big loss. So. Right, so I'm going to take this move first, and uh, see what he, see what he's gonna do. So I don't just from feeling. I don't think he can just actually capture me from closing the outside. So potentially I can still make a good light shape here. <clears throat> okay.
Okay. Um, yeah, this is a problem with having too much time. Is like if you're if you're not forced to make the decision, but within twenty seconds, you're kind of. I I always kind of just let myself think, and it's not always a good thing because um, a lot of times when you think too much. You're kind of uh, sometimes you also avoid the more obvious uh, good variations. So yeah, it's not always a good thing to let yourself think too much. <clears throat> uh, okay. <clears throat> so I'm gonna make this extension. Uh, with just because when if white captures these three stones, white can actually ex exchange this in sente. So I'm gonna exchange that first. And then. Oh, this is so. This is such an awkward shape. Okay, so I'm I'm in Bioyomi very soon. So. I'll um, so I'll be forced to make some decisions. Um, <laughs> okay, so if I consume it's going to be alive, um, but he'll enclose it. So okay, I'm just gonna <laughs> just gonna play it. It's not a big deal. It's I'm just kind of I, I, when I'm giving too much time, I I always tend to not spend it wisely. Maybe it's an after effect of playing Blitz too much in the past. Um, okay, so if he Atari's now, I'll connect. <clears throat> oh, I should have exchanged the other Kosumi first, I think. Oh good. Okay. So if he takes away my eye, I can honey first. And uh he has to block. And then I can play the tiger smell. So but in terms of co threats I just lost my own only cover. Oh my gosh, that is sad. Oh, but actually, he doesn't have any good cofrets either. So I can potentially just play the peep here. And then. If he answers, I'll take back, and he has no cofrets. But he, if he doesn't, I get to push through, and I'm pretty sure that's going to be good enough. Yeah, so this actually ended up being more severe than I thought it would be. Maybe it was because of this move. Maybe I should have actually just exchanged some moves on, on the left side first and blocked. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so he... he he played the bamboo, so I think he's probably thinking about giving this up. Ooh, it's actually gonna... It's actually becoming a lot more painful. I have to answer this.
So actually, what's good about this is actually uh, this conveniently. I have the ladder here now, so if he. Oh god, this is this is way too painful. If he cuts, I don't think I can even answer. That really sucks. Uh, I can't, I can't even answer this, can I? All right. <laughs> uh, this is actually a pretty big loss. Um, it doesn't really hurt white too much. Um, but of course, that this corner is absolutely huge. Okay, so <clears throat> we're going to stay calm, keep the game going. Uh, in terms of territory, I'm not too behind, but white is just so strong in the center. But I th think this block is super slow. So this because he because of this early exchange I can actually try to gain a little bit from the outside. If he attaches on top I can extend and get some of that back. So this is a big this is another territory move. Anyway, I really need to make this jump because if he invades, I have no idea what I'm going to do. You know what? I just see <laughs> something maybe just as big. Okay, I have no time to do that. I, I absolutely have to make this jump. If he invades, I'm pretty much I'm pretty much done. So I'm going to do that. This is so big. If he pushes, it uh, captures. If I connect, I can capture the two stones on the left. But yeah, this block is definitely s too slow. Um, hmm. Yeah, I, I'm just going to connect this back. This is way too big. And also, it leaves a, a weakness here. If he plays the knight's move, I can extend into the corner. That's... He, he might be able to uh, make this group awkward, but I can just live, so that's not too bad. Okay, now he's taking advantage of the strength um, in the center. Well, of course, I can't... Nothing, nothing too much I can do about that. Alright. <coughs> I'm not worried about the attachment, but if he plays here, I, I'm pretty sure I can just capture the corner. Oh. Yeah, I have to capture the corner. If I block, it's just gonna be, he's just gonna get more and more from the corner stuff. So. If I play here, if he blocks and costumes, I don't think I can kill it, so... Um, I'm making a compromise for shape by capturing the corner. Uh, yeah, after connecting, I'm definitely ahead in territory again. 
just gotta reduce the center. Yeah, I mean, if I play the nice computer, I can just capture um, everything. Uh, so now it's time to live. Oh, if he, oh my, okay, <laughs> that was such a bad move, because he sh if he played a tiger spell here, that would have fixed um, everything on the left side. So... Okay, I'm gonna make this group a lot. Um, if he exchanges... Okay. This is not Sente. Oh, I should've... I should've definitely pushed first. Well, okay, we're going to have to make a compromise. I'm going to get out into the center while sacrificing even more territory on the top. I, I think that, that's fine because uh, if I play the Tiger's Note, he can block in Sente. And that's definitely not acceptable, but I'm just going to allow him to get some benefit on top and then I will also get something yeah immediately the knight's move is going to be pretty severe okay so he actually chose to jump okay <clears throat> Okay, <laughs> I hope I'm not doing terrible life and death here. I think I, um, I think the two stones, I can't save. Okay, um, I'm not sure how I should have fixed, though. I think this is fine, because he can, although he can capture two stones, it's Gote, so. I think that's fine. Um. <clears throat> yeah, so, <laughs> not much territory there, again. Yeah, so really, how much can he get in the center? That is a big question. Huh, this is big territory, but there's definitely a direction problem here. After I connect in the center, He pretty much lo he he's gonna lose more potential than what he's gonna he's he's gonna just gonna capture these two in Gote, um, but I can get the corner as well. So I mean, yeah, it's definitely not worth it for him. And uh, in terms of maybe I should. Do a quick count here. Oh, should I go for that extra half point? Uh, 
No, it's probably not. <laughs> that would be a big mistake because then he he could. Yeah, there's still a there's still a cut that depends on the ability. So, <clears throat> but yeah, he captured five points here, losing the center and. I also got this connect. So these are pretty much worth a similar in value. Okay. So, okay, that's just a big end game move. Yeah, so I'm going to get the follow up now from that move earlier. What is that? Definitely didn't understand that move there. <coughs> what? Block is about 50. That's... Actually, more, more than I thought. So, how many does we have so far? Yeah, it's at least a really close game. Uh, my 50, I didn't count these. So, block is still potentially ahead. Yeah, he can connect back, but I think what's more important right now is to keep Sente. So he can he has a Tsuji to connect. Oh. He didn't see it. So he can actually attach under that that is a pretty famous Tsuji. Um But now I can just capture everything. Wow, that I just gained like ten over ten points here. I, I just gained eleven points. Well, it's the same thing. I just gained 14 points there. Um. <clears throat> I want to protect the corner now. If it, all of these moves here are potentially sente, but I'm not sure yet what are the things he could have done so I'm, I, I'm not sure what the move is in the center I'm just gonna play the nice one here and do do a reduction Okay, that's 
another bad exchange. If he want the he if he wants the peep, I definitely think he should have done that before. This stone isn't gonna help the inside at all. Uh, at this point, he's just helping me protect all my weaknesses. These two stones aren't that big in, in value, but I don't... Uh, should, I, should I let him fix that? Yeah, so this is super big. Um, now that the left side is done, if I get to cut this group off, he has to fix... Um, in actually, this is this is an interesting shape. Wait, he's dead inside. Does he not realize that? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> um. Really? Okay, so yeah, he's he, this this game is over by now. This game is definitely over now. Uh, he has to protect in Gote, which means I can pretty much just do whatever I want. Um, here, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, the the it was definitely very weird. Like from like I was losing to like yeah, this game is won. Um, hmm, he should, he should, I think he should connect. Now he only has three three and a half points. So weird 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 way to protect. But yeah, since I get to push out here, everything is is weak. Um, I get to jump in Sente, I get to also another Rafael loses points. <laughs> um, yeah, so now this game is definitely over. So, <clears throat> from this game, you can really see that thickness is super important. When you have strong shapes, a lot of points are, they're kind of built in. They... Um, you kind of just gain points from really nothing. <clears throat> but if you're weak, you you have to connect back, and all connections are zero points. So oh, this this is definitely very big. I don't want him to make the Hana, even though I can close in Sente. Right now, the center is just no man's land. No one's going to make any points there. So, any little bit of points I can get on the side is going to be worth something. Uh, let's see. What? Okay, I, <laughs> I'm not sure what he did there again. Uh, okay, here's that. Actually... It was an interesting opening. It was, it was definitely um, not a not a bad opening for him. I really underestimated how much uh, White could gain. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna decline that for now from the left side. So I definitely lost a huge amount here. Uh, very very careless move here. Um, so actually, right now, I would say it's definitely good for black. Okay, SC doesn't really tell you much, but oh, I have actually have to open the the thing to to review it. Uh, but I mean, this this game was 
definitely not. <laughs> it was a. Uh, I think I, I definitely should have lost here. So this is definitely a careless move. I really underestimated how severe the attack on the left would be when Buck Tanuki here. So <clears throat> I think White could have done something uh, more aggressive. I think maybe what I should have done was uh, something like that. Since he can't play here, yeah, as long as Black can live, the gain on the on the upper side is very is enough. So that wouldn't have been too bad. So why well, can't really do that right now? Because there's too many weaknesses on the outside. So it will be easy for Block to get out. But yeah, even like this, you see White gain a lot of hidden points right now. If White pushes through, these are dead. And White is very strong on the outside. A lot of potential in the center as well. Um, yeah, I, I really underestimated this move. <clears throat> so... Um, Wondering whether White could have did something even more severe. Um, yeah, I'm not sure about this attachment because after this move, or even something like this. So if White connected, connection would would have been better anyway. And then attached. So if Black answers, this is. Looking way too dangerous. I don't think I, this can even live. Yeah, I think if I were white, I would have probably done something like that. Or at least looking back. But I, I think in terms of this code threat, I should invade and cut. Even though block an Atari here, well, I can just connect back. Yeah, I think this this would have been better. Although this honey is slightly annoying. Still a potential cone there. Yeah, I think this cone may not have been the best. Maybe the top left. Um, I guess it's similar. Getting the top right or or here, but this block is too slow. Um, right now, uh, if Black pushes through here, it's it's a big move, but it's not Sente. I think White should have definitely invaded. If Black pushes through, White can continue to get up. It's not like Black can actually capture the whole thing or anything. So, yeah, I definitely think uh, White should invade. Because, yeah, White, Black can't go sue me even. There's no co-threats to deal with attachment. So, and White could just use this as co-threats. So, if we do something, White could definitely start the co here. And, and just use, say, this move as a co-threat. Yeah, this is definitely not possible for Black. All Black gain was solidify this, but this is too severe, so. Yeah, and Black has no co-threats. So, if if White could basically just capture, or even if White just jumps out here, it's, it's too big. Um, just reduce everything, and everything is going to be two points. So maybe the maybe the I was not as behind as I thought, but after a few moves like this, I, I went from maybe I was behind to yeah, I definitely won this game. Um, yeah, so this connection was was very big, but okay, so this is all. Pretty normal. Um, so actually, White should have played here. This Hanu was a very careless move um, because after this, 
this this no longer works, right? There's it just gets cut. So yeah, very very. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing there, but he connected it. So oh, what what is that? It's 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 kind of stupid. So after the descent, why well, could capture two stones or otherwise? I think the best result is that Seki, but it's the same, it's it's Gote for white, so uh, that's for much later. Um, yeah, so after living here, the center become became not as strong, and it's not obvious what white could gain from all of these exchanges. Um, so that's probably not good. I think yeah, I'm not I'm not sure what what he was trying to do. Maybe like at least without those, at least he could attach. Um but yeah, exchanging those two stones there and leaving it there is not a good idea. And also this Hane is definitely questionable. The center is worth much more. So maybe hunting here first and then doing that. Or if if Brock gets this side, then why can keep expanding the center? This looks really dangerous for Black right now. So this this was definitely another mistake. And then yeah, after a few moves, it feels like the game's coming back. Yeah, not sure what he was doing with this cut here either. Um, so actually here, White should have attached. And I was not sure what to do yet. I was actually thinking of just... Um, just capturing this Incente. What's the biggest? I don't know. What's, what's the game? No clue right now. Yeah, I mean, it's still at least a close game. And also, this counter is white territory. So, as long as white can stay very thick in the center, it's going to be at least a close game. But after this, it's it's pretty much over. And he extended here. Um, probably one of the bigger moves, but I'm not sure if that's the biggest. Yeah, after this... Um, oops. Um, black just became thick, and also now um, these extensions are all going to be an issue. So, um, yeah, after this is pretty much game over. Well, I have to protect inside, and then all of these are going to become weak groups. So, I was actually going to do something like that. Um, but yeah, this is maybe like that. And then there's there's still some corner algae, but every you can see like all of these moves that would not have been sente are now sente. So yeah, this is this is definitely game over. Yeah, you can you can look look at that look at that huge difference. Like before, it was really close, and now it's like black ahead by thirty. So the the lesson of this game is definitely the relative strength and weakness. So after a big mistake on the left, I was still I shouldn't have been able to come back, but um, I luckily was able to do that. So anyway, hope you enjoyed. Um, stay strong in in your games. Um, and uh, I will see you next time. See ya.